welcome to Home and Family. It is Monday, March 30th. And that's right. It's anniversary week. I am Christina Ferrari. Well, it's our, an, our anniversary. Yeah. Well, Didn't nothing. we bury a time capsule last year? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the first year we were here, we buried time capsule. Yeah, then we buried one last year, and now we're going to take it up on April 1st. And, and we predicted that today, two days before our anniversary show, Vicki Lawrence would show up. See? We did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See what happened? Look what happened. Yeah. There she is. Vicki, welcome. I want to be it's here when you new. exhume that thing. And well, it's right in the front. It. I can't wait to see what we did. I think the first time we predicted, like, was it an election year that year? And Madonna would have a boy or a girl? And yeah. we did. Oh, yeah. We were important things like that, whether Madonna would have a boy or a girl. I know I wrote the name Monica. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure why I wrote it. It was just, it came to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's Monday. It's yeah. Home and Family. How are you feeling? Good. 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 Yeah. I got invited uh, Friday for a big party tonight. You know where? Where? Her house. You know with whom? No, who? Regis. Regis. Oh. <gasps> I know she was cooking. Huge it's not, party. It's not a big, big. party. You have big. to cook? What's I'm cooking. Yes. She loves to cook. It's not a big party. You're the caterer? Yes, I'm the caterer. I always do the old, my own cooking. Yeah. I always, Doesn't yeah. trust anybody else. Yeah, no. What happened was that, that, that he, huh? What? I yeah. missed that. You cook it yourself. You'd rather do it yourself. Uh, I'd rather do it myself, but but um, he's he's in town. and We just enjoy. We just enjoy, and I said, yeah, for them to be comfortable, I wanted them to feel comfortable coming to the house, so I said, please invite anybody that you would like to have to the house, and they invited said, another Michael? couple, the and they asked Blazers? Michael, and I went, <gasps> Michael? And they said, yeah. <laughs> I said, Michael? Wow. I have to be surrounded with my husband day and two in, people. Day in, day You know, yeah. So, I'm so looking forward to tonight, it. yeah. So we'll we'll report tomorrow and see what what. Let you know how the dinner goes with, with Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited nuts. about that. Okay. So, what else is new? I guess we have a show to do. We should introduce everybody that's here. Do you have a problem? What's the matter? Yeah, no, I was thinking if oh. there was anything I, I did this weekend that you should be aware of. Oh, okay. I'm I'm thinking, you were I, walked, yeah. I know I did too. <laughs> he like stopped all of a sudden. I walked out of yeah, Jackie Chan. Why? Why did you walk out? That's 20 minutes into it? Not going to happen. Not going to no. happen. Oh, did you yeah. pull a Christina? I don't know. What it, What did you pull when you were there? You know, when I get upset, I... Oh, I didn't get upset oh, at all. Oh. It's just that the movie was going nowhere within 20 oh. minutes. I thought, this is not going to oh, happen. Oh, I thought it was a restaurant he went into. Oops. Too. It's a movie. No, Jackie Chan. <laughs> I, thought you were... I thought you were talking about Jackie a Chan, the Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Finish okay. the popcorn and left. All right. It's all primary colors. Anybody see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah? How was it? Yeah. I thought it was interesting. I liked it. Yeah, so I, we all know now that Hillary really wanted to be president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, bet, uh, yeah. I bet Mama would have something to say about mm. this. If yeah. I think Mama should go to Washington. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Be, yeah. be Hillary's fashion consultant. Yeah. <laughs> Is she, uh, does she make an appearance in Nonsense 3? She did. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever taken her on the road. Yeah. And it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. People know, love her, her. Her little UPS box, sent her down to Nashville. <laughs> She, she travels well. She was a little well. upset when she got there. <laughs> See, I think Mama should do a talk show. She'd be great, yeah. you know, because she can really tell it like it is. No holes barred. Yeah, actually, oh, it's funny you should mention when we're kind of working on that. That's a great idea. My, uh, <laughs> my executive producer from my first talk show, Nancy Allspot, yeah. and I have formed a little production company with the idea of doing a reality, a reality talk show with her. With Mama. With Mama. Because Mama can say anything. Who better? Yeah, yeah I know. And you, don't, and you don't hate her for it. No? No. You love her for it. That's right. Yeah. Can Mama I, or Lever. If you have any cooking, can I come on and cook? Sure. For Mama? Okay. For Mama. Okay, this is great. Anyway, it's nice to have you here, and we have a big show. Kim is back. What Kimmy, do you bring? what you got? Oh, I am back with, you know what? I know we're jumping the gun a tiny bit, right. but summer is on its way, uh -huh. so I thought I would bring you the hottest, coolest, newest looks for summer. So we're going to do a little Adidas fashion show. Isn't this cute? This is Will a little... Will that hold up in the rain tomorrow? You know what? It probably would. Oh, it's very cute. You know, waterproof, so uh, this we're would work out. Yet, you know. I know. We're really <laughs> not. It's just yeah. the beginning, I hear. I've got some sunglasses. These for instance, were worn by Mini Driver at the Academy Awards. They're from Kata, so we have a little sunglasses fashion show. Cool. I have um, Matt Damon's and Ben Affleck's too. Oh my gosh! And they wore them. Um, they had to return them, or did they give it to them? I believe they let them keep. They're probably copies. Oh, no, yes, I'm... these are copies. And do you guys remember the rules? Remember the book, yeah, the, the rules, rules about right, how right. to date in yeah, the '90s, how to, yeah. how to get married? Well, they have come out with the rules lips. Rob, I don't know if you guys can get this close, but it's called the, what rules, are the rules lipsticks. For lips? And the one of the rules is that you never work out without your makeup on. So they have wow. come out I swear. with get it all their own oh, lipstick. Yes, and. <laughs> Not only that, but you can have two colors. You can have the you can have the solid color with the frost, and it's all oh, in one, and it's very small, so it can fit in your running suit. So you're perfect. 
You know, we got to find You got to get us a life there, <laughs> Kim. You know, I'm trying to bring you new products. Hey, that's so cute. I'll see if I can find this. There's a study that shows the way a woman wears down her lipstick determines her personality. Yes. Oh. There's a chart. Yeah, I got to get that really? chart. That would be interesting. But you know, Does she I have a shape. Uh, Your lipstick? My no lipstick. lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the shape, but I can put on the lipstick now, and I will still have these lips on oh, at 6 o'clock tonight. It's how do you these lips will still be on. I eat. I, I, I've learned from all those years of modeling how to keep your lips on. You how do you keep it on? <laughs> I just do. I just My lips never touch it? my food. No. 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 Oh, you eat a lot. I I not, not, no. <laughs> See, I, I drink their straw. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Is You're it? not supposed to do that. It makes wrinkles up here. Oh, it does? Yeah, you know. Oh, 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 Okay, well, there you, you go. You need to come up with something uh, to, to, uh, boy, was that a sentence? <laughs> Are we going to, and Ariana, what did she do? Yes, yeah. and um, another little thing that I'm going to show you is the hippest, coolest things for hair this That's summer, so which are butterflies, so our little model here. head this way so everybody nice. can we'll see We'll be on later. Did you kill and those then, butterflies yourself? No, they're fake. Uh, <laughs> we don't kill animals. Big endangered species on your head. <laughs> okay. Also, Chris Oz is here. Chris is an inventor, right, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, what'd you invent, Chris? I invented a basketball and it shows you how to shoot correctly it, for right-handed and left-handed people. It, cool. You put your hands cool. on it and it shows you how to shoot the ball correctly. So every time you get the ball back cool. in your hands, you can line it up exactly how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. wow. To get it in it's, the... You have a better a chance toy, of getting yeah. it in, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you, great. That's we have a little contest later. I guess it's... Uh, who might going to be... You know, we did the same thing here. This week, uh, this is <laughs> no. where to oh, never funny. place your hand there. <laughs> yeah. So that's a little... I Chris, can't you can... Believe yeah. what they do. There you Where go. you go? Hope you enjoy that show. Yeah. Oh my Fourteen dollar Teflon pan for one little joke. Hey. Right back there. Do you know the Family Channel has joined the Fox Family, and in August will become the all new Fox Family Channel. Yeah. On the Fox Family Channel, you'll be able to see a great uh, kids programming all day long. Last week on the show, you met Hoyman. Hoyman. Hoyman the freak, and a tool from the basement. Mm -hmm. Now the basement is what? A three hour block yeah. of programming. It'll feature shows like Pee Wee's Playhouse, Mr. Bogus, and Watermelon. And in order to find a co-host for that block, they call it a block jock for the mm -hmm. basement, the producers are going nationwide conducting open auditions for the part. Last Tuesday, the open call was in Miami. We got a little tape of what happened when all these people wanted to get in show business. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wow. this is the star of my new movie, and what is it called? What are we going to do? Well, it's called it's called the Exterminator. The Exterminator, yeah. and the uh, it's like a combination of Terminator and X Files. Yeah, and it's very uh, weird. <laughs> Voice is right on. Did they find anybody? But they're still Wait, looking. Are they still looking? All right, last Thursday, the open casting call continued at the Planet Hollywood in New York. We have Kim Soltarski, one of the producers of The Basement, on the phone live from Chicago. Hi, Kim, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, so how did it go in New York? Oh, it went great. We had uh, almost uh, 500 wannabe block jocks that showed up, and they were lining outside of Planet Hollywood, streaming down 57th Street. It was, it was crazy. We ended up at, uh, it really kept us on our toes, pushing everybody through. We had one little intense moment when we had uh, a pushy person outside and claiming to be a manager wanting to uh, uh, make sure his, his client had an audition time. And we had, well, there's no, you know, everybody's just open casting, first come, first serve. Right. But to avoid WrestleMania 98, we brought him to the front of the line and dismounted with some pushy dad trying to get his 18-year-old oh. son <gasps> through it. But luckily, we had our uh, celebrity coach, Gilbert Godfrey, to, to take care of him. Oh, you know, Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert and I go way back. Best really? of friends. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, There's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. We go way, way back. Did you know that? Gilbert and I? Oh, is yeah. this going to lead somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. There's a, there's a tape from New York. <laughs> Afraid to oh, ask. I'm saying <laughs> Gilbert and I go way back. There's, there isn't a better friend I have than Gilbert. Okay. Go ahead and roll this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gilbert Gottfried here at Planet Hollywood, New York. Hello, home and family. Actually, I don't mean the show. I just mean my home and family. Please, I want to go home. Please. And uh, Michael Berger, I actually know. I worked with him once when he had that other show. I know Michael Berger. And to tell you the truth, I didn't like him then either. I don't like you now. I didn't like you then. And I didn't, I won't like you in the future. I don't like you. Oh, God. Yes. This is your good friend? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's our relationship. We completely understand it. He's very funny. He's, he's very funny. All right. Yeah, hey, Kim, where is the final audi audition going to be? 
It's happening here in Chicago tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Planet Hollywood. That's at 633 North Well Street in Chicago, 633 North Well Street in Chicago, tomorrow, Tuesday the 31st. So anybody wants to be a block jock, we'd like to see him give it a try. Well, keep us posted. Okay, I will. Thank you, Kim. Cool. Thank All you. Right. All right. Okay. Also, Pat Godwin is on the show. Pat has a very unique talent. You want to share with the group what that is? Okay, I, uh, I write a lot of songs. I write 40 songs a day, songs like this. Here we go. 40, 45 songs a day. <laughs> Vicky Lawrence, Kim, and Chef Jamie <laughs> Cooking chicken today <laughs> A youthful sports inventor Is coming your way <laughs> And me, my name's Pat Godwin You better write it down Cause I'm not really that famous I'm the new guy in town Everybody, home and family <laughs> Home and family and family show. There you go. So you have an idea of what Pat's going to do. He's going to stay with us uh, throughout the day, create, write, celebrity voices. You do it all. I hopefully do it all. Okay, very good. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Also, he what, what? what he can really do. Oh, you know, he writes all this stuff for Howard Stern. Oh. Uh, yeah, so what kind of that, stuff does he write? Well, for we can't say Stern. any of it. We, we can't. <laughs> he satirizes a lot of. I do a lot of songs in the Stern Show, and... We, oh, are you the guy who does that? I'm one of the guys, yeah. Oh, you nasty man! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Woody. Okay, Pat. Ew. Anything I can do to help you out? Oh. Right after that nice, sweet little home and family yeah. office. <laughs> I'm trying to fit in! I know, I know. Of course, you could always say to me, what are you doing listening to Howard Stern? Yeah, exactly. I, you know, I, you know. I do. What can I say? Also joining us is lady is a lady named Anasta Anastasia, and she is the perfect. She does the perfect arch. She's an expert on arches. And you say, what are you talking about? Arch and a foot? No, the eyebrow. I understand you cannot get in to see her because she's booked all the way up until May. Anastasia, it's nice to have you here. Hey, so you are an expert in the arch. How how is it that you became this? <laughs> What happened? Well, I mean, I understand that they said every you booked every ten minutes until May. Is that yeah. true? Yes, that's true. So is she. You've carved out this niche. Yeah. How long ago? Uh, I came in the in, in United States eight years ago, and um, you made a business on eyebrows. You, yeah. you gonna do mine lay over for me later? Absolutely. Okay, and who great. have you worked you with? Get your stuff yeah, with? I'm gonna have mine done. I want to too. Okay, let's both do it can together. You do both? Can you well, do it? Both? Hurt? Yeah, can we do, I love I love to be <laughs> tweezed. Oh, the first uh, question she asked me is, "It's painful." No, no. I love to be tweezed. You can tweeze me. No. I could love. Oh, yeah, it could be. I love to be tweezed. I love it. Oh, Every, I don't. I need oh. to be fixed. Oh, I, I need that. to be like. Tattooed I'm something. sorry when it's over. You're not going to tattoo your eyebrows in or something? No, no, I should. But I need but some. Anastasia's going to give us a brand new but look for eyebrows. Home. Who are you? Whose Every, eyes are you doing? Everybody. No, oh, um, she's not going to yes. say. Almost. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to say. Did you have eyebrows at the Oscars? Yes, of course. Oh. I was in the fourth season for three days. Oh. And we we're doing oh, eyebrows. Oh. Yeah. 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 I can't wait. Okay, so we're both going to get eyebrows. Do you save today. any of the eyebrows that you pluck? <laughs> I was thinking of. But, Some of the yeah. famous yeah. eyebrows, you yeah. know what I mean? I should do that. I'm not going like to tell Michael you business. Michael Bolton's hair? <laughs> You're going to auction off your eyebrows? What and happened to his hair? Forward. What happened to Michael Bolton's hair? Isn't he going to auction it or something? He cut it off. He didn't look the same. No. He well, did. obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rogaine actually awarded him uh, the, the Tacoma Award for the greatest hair comeback. Did you hear that? I heard that this morning. Because his hair has come back. I'm not sure how it came back. But they've awarded him, once a year they award people that have made a big uh, a comeback with their hair. hair. Oh, I, just, I just wrote now. a new song. I oh, what? I figured. If you want to grow hair up there where it's bare, Rogaine. <laughs> 47 songs. Wow. You're brilliant. Okay. All right. We're going to switch right. gears here today on the show as well. There's a story that's very controversial and heartbreaking. It's about a 21-year-old, Roosevelt Dawson is his name, his right to die. For the first time on national television, his mom is going to talk to us about everything that led up to Roosevelt's decision and Dr. Kevorkian's involvement and uh, how she feels uh, a month after the son took his own life. Uh, he was ill. 
It's a very controversial subject. And, right. uh, Dr. and very interesting. Yeah, so we'll Dr. Gavort. We'll we'll and we'll open up the phones to everyone, too, so we can get your opinion. Yep. Also, today we are going to be cooking chicken again with a white wine mushroom sauce. Do you like mm. to cook, Vicki? Mm -hmm. But okay. I think I'd rather get my eyebrows done. Okay, well. <laughs> you cook. Okay, you okay. I'll get my both. eyebrows. Yeah. Okay, hey, when we come back, Vicki Lawrence. Vicki Lawrence, be right. Yeah. right back. Stan Home and Family, Catherine Morris of Pensacola Wings trades painting tips to Christina and will give you the hows and whys of successful cooking with Shirley Corher, the stovetop scientist that professional chefs call for help. <laughs> Welcome yeah, back. Careful what you you want to do that. It's our fam tram audience that's uh, filed into our kitchen. Thank and, you. Uh, we'll, we'll be here for Give me a hand. Check and see if uh, they've stolen anything from the cabinets or silverware. Has anything ever gone from <laughs> these nothing. people? You're not no. taking anything, are you? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Grab things out of the cupboards. Go. Our next guest made her first appearance on television in 1967 as Carol's little sister on The Carol Burnett Show. Please welcome. Yeah, there's the shot. Look at that. Say hi to Vicki Lawrence. <laughs> It's so nice to have you here. Can it's you nice to 1967. <laughs> oh, no. 1967, yes. How did I was you, 12. You know, it was so, you were 12. <laughs> I was 17. How old are you? <laughs> it's 1967. All right. So tomorrow night you're going to be making your first appearance as a nun. In, I believe so. Yeah. I don't think I ever played a nun on Carol's yeah. show. And tell everybody what your name is. It's so funny. Sister Amnesia. <laughs> um, and is it because? She, she got hit on the head with a crucifix and she forgot <laughs> who she was, you see. And... <laughs> Is that when what happened? She regains her memory. She realizes that her real name is Sister Mary Paul, and she's always had a dream to be a country singer. Country singer. So a uh, nun since three is basically the nuns on the road. Uh, you, you get to see our little oh, concert promotion tour of my new album, I Could Have Gone to Nashville. Is that the Grand Ole That's the Grand Ole Opry. Opry. Yeah. There's that sweet spot on the stage there oh where everybody God. famous has stood. Oh. Everybody. And whoever thought I would be there? Go oh. figure. You actually were there. You shot it there? We shot it at the Grand Ole Opry. We did three performances, uh, gave all the, the uh, box office proceeds to Nashville Cares to fight AIDS, oh. and um, they edited the best of it together, and yeah. uh, it's a special tomorrow night on TNN. Great. When you're walking around backstage with a habit on, you know, <laughs> or I don't know how much time you spend yeah. in the nun outfit. Do people treat you differently? Yeah, oh, gotta. very polite. Really? You get to cut in front of all the catering lines at lunch that the meal breaks. <laughs> and, <laughs> really? Uh -huh. You, you didn't get actually... to go right into the restroom. You get to go, you cut in front of everybody. Well, I have another idea. I've always told our audience this, but if, you, if you're not dressed up as a nun, the next best thing is to put a pillow underneath your, oh, your outfit yeah. and tell everybody you're having prayer. There's not one woman who won't let you cut in yeah. line. They all just say, please, they they are, they, yes. they've been there, they know, yes. they understand. It's not wrong. It is, is that wrong? wrong? Is that wrong? It is not wrong. No, it's not wrong. Well, so I don't the, know about you. When I was pregnant, I knew every, I know every restroom in the city. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> me the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yes. Yeah. Hey, we have a clip from the movie. Set this up. The we're yeah, set it up. We're well, this say. is actually uh, one of the numbers in the show where I get so excited over uh, my song, Going to Number One, that I, I uh, uh, I'm so enamored with the record producer that I, I'm going to marry him, I think. <laughs> I think you're going to see a bit of uh, oh, okay. a bit of a stretch for a nun. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and roll this. <laughs> I could just kiss that big hunk of a record man. You know what? If he was here right now, I'd ask him to marry me. Oh, amnesia, remember? You're a nun. Oh, yeah, huh? I forgot. Annie Oakley said it best in Irving Berlin's Western. Oh, you can't get a man with a gun. Well, I'll go miss a one better, though I never. Where they, yes. A lot of, a lot of nuns show up to the show, right? They love it. Yeah, they absolutely love this, this yeah. show. 
Yeah, we get the occasional Baptist who thinks we're just going straight to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> yeah, I think some have a pretty good sense of humor about I, it. They do. I think it's great. Yeah. And Mama made an appearance? I actually put Mama in the UPS box and took her down to Nashville. She was a little cranky when she got there, but I thought that since we were in Nashville, she probably should come out and say hello to the folks and try to keep the nuns in line, which she did. You know, I don't know the story of that. How did Mama come about? Oh my goodness, how much time do you have? Uh, Mama, I calculated, I first played on the Carol Burnett Show when I was 24. And uh, she was written by two of, two of our writers on the show, both of whom hated their mothers, um, and considered it a comic exorcism to get sure. this horrible woman out on paper. I was supposed to play Eunice. Yeah. Carol was supposed Carol. to play yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Mama. And when she saw the final draft of the sketch, she said, yeah, I think, I think you would be better as Mama. I think I'll play Eunice. And I said, well, fine, it's your show. You'll be the ingenue. I'll play the old bat. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just kind of trying to do an older version of what Carol... Carol, just, uh, Carol wanted to do it Southern. That was her choice. It was not ever written or intended to be Southern, but she uh, kind of thought of it as Tennessee Williams on acid. <laughs> and uh, so she, she wanted to place it in the South. And uh, so I was trying to do kind of an older version of that. And I have to say that Bob Mackey was pretty instrumental yeah. in making that Great character. Wardrobe. As he was, and he was such a genius at comedy characters, you know. But Everybody just thinks of him as Mr. Sequins, and it's not true. As young as you look, you probably still get people that'll yell, where's mama, at this point. Yeah, or, yo mama. Yo mama. <laughs> yo mama. Yo mama. I yeah. told Al we need to open some Mexican restaurants, call them oh, Nacho yo Mama. mama. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you were on the Carol Burnett show, and part of the fun of watching the show, not only was it brilliant, but to watch you guys crack up during, uh, uh, say, right, you right. were the best one, by the because way. Because I was yes. young, I was You were the child, best one. So I felt it wasn't my place. Oh. I thought I would get slapped okay, or sent to my you, room you, or something. You held yourself better than, than the adults did. Mm -hmm. uh, but did you have any of those moments? on Mama's family? Well, occasionally, I, I think you do have those moments of when props go bad. Well, guess what? You know, you we have a clip. Oh, we have a clip of you cracking up. Do Woody you know? Yes, we do. Life's yes. most embarrassing yeah. moments. He pulled a, a clip a from clip. one of your moments. Have you seen this? Do you know I don't, what we're setting up? I don't ever consider these embarrassing because I think the audience gets such a huge yeah. kick out. I think you're working with Ken Berry. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, a, it's what a pleasure. Between, it's a yeah, lovely moment. Between the two of you, you can't Kenny. hold it's it together. Go and roll this. You have to throw that switch marked automatic. How's it going? Well, let me try another switch. <laughs> you have to throw this switch marked automatic. <laughs> Here comes the tricky part. the tricky part. You have to throw the switch marked automatic. Rehearsal, right? Yeah. Perfect. As funny as that was, you would think they didn't want to fix it. You after a couple times and just well, keep building it. No, but you see how long it went on. Yeah. yeah. Enough's enough already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night on TNN, it can be seen. Uh, Vicki Lawrence in Nonsense Three, Tuesday, March thirty-first, and it's going to air twice in the LA area at six and They're ten. They're airing it twice here. Isn't that exciting? I guess in case you have amnesia and you forget what you were watching <laughs> at six. Jeez, that looks you familiar. You can see it again at ten, and it is for those Nonsense fans a brand new Nonsense. It's all all new stuff. And, and we have brand new Nonsense too. Because All new nuns. Don't go away because when we come back, Vicki is going to tell us how she did playing against Rosie and Sally Struthers oh, in fine. Pictionary. All right. Second break, be right back. MASH creator Larry Gelbart shares stories from behind the scenes at the 4077 as well as what it was really like to work with Tootsie's Dustin Hoffman. That's all tomorrow on Home and Family.
Welcome back. We're with Becky Lawrence, who recently went on Pictionary with uh, Rosie O'Donnell. This is Alice how nice Brothers. of you to bring it up, since I got my butt kicked. Is that what happened? We want your story. Pretty much what happened? You're like the queen of that. Well, she. No, I'm not. You're very good. I've seen it. No, no, no. I hosted it well oh. because I could point and laugh. Yeah, well, I know I you hosted, but I've seen you play it too. Not very well. Well, okay. <laughs> what happened? It's hard. I'm not a very good artist. Oh. Well, she had Sally Struthers, which, oh. you know, I told her is like playing Password with Betty White. Oh. It's right, not right, fair. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I, I told her I would like a rematch. I'm looking for the perfect partner, oh. and I want a rematch. I hope. You know, I first played this game with Burt Reynolds. I know. Didn't oh. he kind of invent How long this? ago? He was dating yeah. Sally Field. Oh. My husband and I and him and Trini Lopez and uh, his girlfriend and uh, Bert said, this is the new way to do charades. Really? You draw. In the living room, right? Wasn't it came out of his house? Yeah, it did. well, it actually started one night when he had Fred Astaire over to dinner, and they and he loved to play charades, and so Fred, Bert loved to play charades. He gives a charade uh, to Fred, yeah. and it's Charge of the Light Brigade, and Fred has no idea what to do. Right. And he's he's too embarrassed to act. Right. And Bert's going, we'll do something. Fred Astaire too so, embarrassed to act. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. So he said he's very shy. He said, I'm shy. So Bert gave him a chalkboard and a, and a piece of chalk and said, draw it. And Fred, uh, so this legend goes, started drawing nine gazillion tiny little soldiers, little stick figures. Wow. And they got to laughing so hard that they were crying. And they said, this is, this, this is the new way to do it. Wow. So actually, Bert Reynolds is responsible for inventing pictures. Bert Reynolds, Bert Convy, too? Well, I, yeah. yeah. I think so. And Bert Reynolds. Well, there. Bert 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 Bert. Bert. well that was yeah. the version of this that I hosted, was Win, Lose, or Draw. This, yeah. The new one is yeah. called... Well, we're going to show the world how good you are. Your partner will be... I'm a good guesser. Are you a good artist? She's a great artist. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Right. I mean, when you have 30 seconds, there's not much you can draw. Do right. I get a category or something? Well, yeah. There, there are segments that'll be on tomorrow's show. Well, let me see so I well, can hold start. On. Oh. There'll be segments on tomorrow's show. Segments on tomorrow's yeah. show. Yeah. So it could be a guest. It could be an idea for a segment. Let's, I'll give you a hint. I'll tell you their guests. For heaven's yeah, sake. Why couldn't it be eyebrow tattooing like exactly. today? <laughs> that would be easy. Now, this will be the first one. Uh, folks at home, if you don't want to see Turn Away, we're going to put it up on the monitors right Right now. Excuse me, is she supposed to guess this or is she supposed to guess that? The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Well, the whole that's thing. unfair. Why? Nobody, well, just nobody do it. She's good. Duh. You ready? You're going to guess right. tomorrow's segment. Okay. okay. All right. Ready, set, yes. go. You can't. Okay. okay. What do you sound? It sounds like, it sounds like a man. It's a man. It's a famous man. It's Larry Gelbart from... <laughs> 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 Just like How Larry. does that happen? Okay, so how much time do we have left? You psychic, stop that. All right, okay. this guest is on tomorrow's show as well. You ready? Okay. How does that happen that quickly? Here you go. Okay. Okay. Ready, set, you got it? Go. Okay. It's so funny. It's Lou Rawls. He's going to say, spring rain, spring rain. I never knew how much Lou Rawls looked like Larry Gelbart. Would you look at this? It's exactly the same. All right, there's one more. You ready? Okay, one more. This is one more. Ready, set, go. Yeah, let this me is, see it let's see before she, she says that. it. Let's see if she gets that. Uh, you got it? Go, Vicky. Okay. Go, okay. Vicky. Go, go Christina. Vicky. It's a banana. Yes. Uh, I forgot what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> it's boobs. It's uh, <laughs> it's my chest. It's a chuck wagon. It's a, uh, uh, it's a uh, Oklahoma chuck wagon. <laughs> Christina, Christina, uh, are you cooking Christina? something? Christina, cooking Christina, with kids She's had the answer all along. <laughs> See it. Woody was holding up the answer from the very beginning. Did is you that figure that Ken out? Collins? <laughs> Look what a good artist you are. Ariana, who is this? It's a pocket. It's my dog pocket. There you go. Boy, how about <laughs> inside there? Yeah. <laughs> Vicki Lawrence, you are terrific at Pictionary. <laughs> Christina? There you go. All right, you guys, you had the cookie. You had it right there. You All along. Always. We're going to make some white wine mushroom <laughs> sauce with a big old chicken inside. We'll take yeah. a break. We'll be right back. And, uh, you know, I, you know what? I tonight. know. So, you what? know what? Thanks. Woody is not making eye contact with me, which means something is wrong. Something wrong? 
No, I, we had somebody, Garrett, no. come here. You are From our you, tram I, eyes, he, we, this is Garrett Hetherington. He's Hi. 10, and he wants to take Michael's picture. But is, is Garrett a spy? How small oh. of the camera is this? Where are you going? Yeah. Are you he shooting wants documents? To take your picture. All right. So I thought oh. we'd let you hear it. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's take it. Let's take it. He wants to take your picture. Remember, remember what happened? Oh, he wants remember what happened with the last coat you ruined? All right, he can t take my picture. Go ahead. It's going to be water. There's a kid who lives a life of danger. <laughs> okay. See? He just took my picture. I don't think he fully pushed the button down. <laughs> Let me take Woody's picture. Oh, no. Oh, uh, oh no. Good job. Oh, no. You did good. You yeah. did good. Yeah. Nice try. Make sure you ask for your after scale. Uh, it's water. Scale. The director said they can't see what it is. Now, you know how it is when yeah, I know water. Woody's up to no good? He does not. Usually, he's always making eye contact me with me. When he does not, that means he's up to something. That was one. This That's is the other. Good on your silk. No, this Stop is it. Yeah. Look what he does. He doesn't. He unscrews the top. He unscrews. So when I go to pour things in, Everything falls in, so that's how I. Man do I caught you, Woody. <laughs> What's missing in Woody's life that he does that? Or he needs Vicky? a hobby. Yeah. He needs a, what'd you say? Somebody wrote a letter. Somebody wrote a letter to please tell Woody to stop wasting the salt and pepper. There, there you go. They know Woody. They figured it out. No, no, no. Hey, today we're gonna make a delicious chicken with white wine, mushroom sauce, and a large skillet that we have over here. We're going to put in one tablespoon of butter. Now, you, do you, you like to cook? Do this in your silk jacket? Oh yeah, I do that Every all the time, and I never this. get dirty. Never. I don't wear oh. my lipstick and I don't get anything all over me. Makes you sick, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> we put a tablespoon of olive oil. Now, while that's heating up, we're going to make sure that you trim the fat and excess, uh, you know, bones and fat from a chicken breast. Flatten it and you're going to um, you use four of the skinless chicken breasts. Pound each one very thin. Ta da. Here we go. Now, next we're going to mix. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to mix. Good. Yes, yes. We're going to mix one teaspoon of thyme. And one teaspoon of basil, How salt, often pepper. You cook a week? Yeah. I like to cook. Yeah, I find it Couple very times relaxed. a week. Do you relax pepper. when you cook, Christina? I find cooking is like, therapeutic to me. Cooking and gardening yeah. is yep. very therapeutic yeah. to me because it's a creative process. I like it. Yeah, it makes me feel really good. Yeah. I love. I like it. it most of the time. I love it now, all. Do you the clean time. up as you go, or you just leave it for someone else to that clean up? That would be like, well. Your ultimate dream is a sous chef, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, your, well, I mean, when, right. when Al sous chefs for me, or I oh. for him, it's my dream yeah. come true. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Then you're gonna take a half. You're gonna put. Oh. Did you get something? <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing there. Not, nothing didn't there. you write that song? Parsley, nothing sage, there. rosemary, and thyme in a slack. <laughs> <laughs> You, what you do is you put the thyme and the basil in the flour, and you're going to dredge your uh, chicken in the flour. You'd be good at a party, just keeping you around. You know what I mean? <laughs> now you're going to brown the breasts on both sides. We're going to pretend this is already brown. These are already brown. See how beautiful they turn out? Look very at this. Nice. Isn't this lovely? Yeah. Very, very pretty. We're going to have that tonight? No. I you're not cooking this food for the night for Regis. These are, are already right? done? Those yeah, are already done. Left so you can do your mushrooms. Bring the stuff for this the is show. what I'm going so to sad. bring. Yeah. All right. This is what. Oh, what can I put this raw piece of chicken on that no. plate? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll get rid of it. Yeah. Now, in the same <laughs> pan, what we're going to do is we got we have some more butter, and we're going to, to take one cup of else. button mushrooms. They're the mushrooms. One cup of button button mushrooms and a half a cup of shiitake. Half mushrooms. a cup of shiitake. Shiitake. Oh, those are good. Good sushi. Oh, I love shiitake. 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 All right, now we're going to saute this for about two minutes until it's nice and golden. After it is, we don't have two minutes to saute it. You're going to put your chicken back into the pan. And at this point, you're going to add a half a cup of white wine. Half a cup of white, white wine. wine. Go ahead, Vicki, just pop it in there. Any cup. Yeah. Any, but not a sweet wine. Not white. And not sweet cooking one. wine. No. White. It's very, very salty. A nice dry white wine. Wait, what is this? Chicken stock, one quarter Thank cup. Thank goodness. Pop that in there. <laughs> for a minute. We're going to bring it to a simmer for another minute and then we're going to add one cup of heavy, quarter, yes, quarter one quarter cup. Mm. I use a cup, but anyway, a <laughs> quarter cup of heavy, really bad for you cream. It's, it's not a wee dish. Low fat recipe. It's not yeah. low fat, but it's so delicious. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, every once in a while, can what bad? can it hurt? You're going to simmer it for another minute, and when it's finished, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Is this beautiful? All the chicken's brown. <laughs> and the mushrooms and are great. The mushrooms are great. <laughs> I went for a walk. I went for a walk. <laughs> but not the chicken because it's dead today. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's 
That was good. Now we're going to taste what we have. A Susan kitchen Tart tip from for Jacksonville, today. Florida, is on the line. Hello, Susan. Hi there. How are you guys today? Good. You have a kitchen tip for us? I sure do. What might that be? It would be about making breadcrumbs. Yeah. Um, I always turn the crust off the toast for the children in the morning, and instead of just tossing it out, I toss it into a Ziploc bag Isn't and stick it in great? the freezer, and then when the bag is full, run it through the food processor or the blender, and then you've got breadcrumbs. You can stick them back Isn't in the freezer in the bag for future use if you don't need them right away. Vicki Lawrence made a good point. You take it out of the bag first, correct? Well, yeah, that would be a good idea. Nobody needs that much fiber. That's a really good yeah. tip. Thanks, Vicki. I'm glad you're there. Yeah. Hey, Susan. I'm here for you, Susan. Where are you now right now? Susan, what are you doing? I'm just waiting to talk to you guys and All getting right. the kids lunch. What part of the house are you in? I am sitting in the middle of my bed. Oh, wow. By that's chance great. or? Uh, Alone? Or? Quite by design. Alone. Well, that's nice to know. Hey, for this kitchen tip, we're going to send you. Hey, do you like to sew? Yes, I do. How about this? A new sewing machine valued at, it's a new home, new, new sewing machine, $349. Wow. Vicki, you want some chicken? Thanks. Sure. Okay, let's have some chicken. Bye. Bye. Bye, Thank Susan. you. I know how you did that. Hey, coming up next, she's gonna how the shape of your that. eyebrows can dramatically change your whole look. Want to change your whole face? Stick around. New eyebrows yeah, coming up. That's like a restaurant. It's like going to BJ's. Hey, welcome back. Our next guest runs a thriving <laughs> business where she has an appointment booked every 10 minutes wow. of the day from now through the end of May. Her customers include some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. What does she do, you ask? She shapes eyebrows and can give your eyebrows the perfect arch. It's impossible to find someone who really knows what they're doing, and I'm telling you, I know it's like it's hard. One of the hardest things for me for me to do are my eyebrows. So we want to welcome Anastasia to our house. Anastasia. Hi. Hi. Yeah, yes, yeah, nice to have you. Please tell us why it's so important to have the perfect brow. Uh, because the eyebrow really shapes your face. If you will draw a circle with two dots, and if you just change the shape of the eyebrow, you could make that person angry, uh -huh. or dorky looking, <laughs> or happy. How do you do sexy? Uh, How do you do messy sexy? <laughs> messy, messy sexy, sexy. Yeah. with a nice arch. With a nice arch. Is right. it always the same type of arch or is it different on, on every person? Absolutely, every person is different. Frame. Depends on the, yeah. <laughs> Take a look at, yeah, yeah, let's we'll look at some picture of some of the famous people you've done here, a little before and after. Oh, it's up there. There oh, we go. Wow. Before and after. Jennifer Lopez? Jennifer what did you do Lopez. here? It looks like you darkened her eyebrow. Yes, I darkened wow. her eyebrow and I thinned a little bit her eyebrow. Beautiful. And we grow the end of her eyebrow a little bit more. Okay. Do you teach your clients how to do this so they can maintain oh, it themselves? So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Elle didn't have any eyebrows. Yes. Yeah, you see? Who was looking? Yeah. Yes. Who well, knew that she was None of us were paying attention to her brows. the baby, I just went crazy. And you know how you always cut your hair? Well, I just took all my eyebrows off. And I talked to Anastasia about it today, and she's going to help me grow them out. I just yeah. plucked them off. <laughs> well, how often when you need to maintain your eyebrow? Um, probably every three weeks. Yeah. Huh. Three right. to four weeks. Is that it? Is that all the pictures that we have? Do we have so anybody else? Because I know you do like everybody, but right. yeah, I think oh. this. Now, no, what hurts more, the waxing or the plucking? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I think I I'm painless. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am painless. No I, kidding. Waxing or tweezing, I don't think. I love it. I could be waxed and tweezed all the time, everywhere. I love it. I love it. Even no, believe it or not, I have tried. They, they said it's very relaxing. It is. Well, I go. Know, so. Go. We'll okay. start with you. Okay. And then uh, Vicky okay. said she wants it done. Vicky, why don't you take a seat as well? And I you think can I want to. I think wanna I want to have mine tattooed. Do you do that too? I'm yes, sure. I do. All right. Because there's stuff missing. What? Oh, really? Are, are they thinning? They just, they don't come close enough together, I don't think, and, and honestly, okay. so so close enough with the nose? Yeah. yeah. Your eyebrow, you raise your right eyebrow. I'm not the most of the... <laughs> when I okay, talk, this I bit, yeah. Boy, I this could use some music pad for this eyebrow. Oh. <laughs> really, yeah. You're making me work. Come on, baby. Yeah. Are the stars <laughs> out tonight? Do they want their brows heavy or light? <laughs> That's all I have. Like, wow. I can't. So, what so that's how you write 30 a day, huh? First, we have short. to find out what's wrong with my eyebrows. Okay, the space between uh -huh. is too big. Mm. You tweeze oh. way too much here. That's the problem. I don't have right any. I don't have any. any. Is that everybody's problem? problem? Most of. I don't have any hair there growing. What do yeah, I do? Yeah, probably because you plucked it. You tweezed a lot. So well. the hair doesn't grow back. This is the. Did the, you tweeze a lot? God, in your you have to come in so close. Must you? 
Must you? <laughs> Must you? Yes, we have to. <laughs> no. Oh, it's an eyebrow you're segment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we can't do this from the driveway. You know. Close your eyebrow. Now, what will make the eyebrow grow back? I mean, can she, she, can she fertilize that area between Use her... Use Rogaine, uh, like he said. <laughs> Rogaine <laughs> eyebrows? No, I'm just joking. Now, what are you doing? You're removing the Little makeup? makeup. You're taking all your makeup off. I know. As long as we get that camera nice and close. Yeah. Oh, come on. Well, can we get a little closer, do you think? Right. Wow, you got some nose hairs there, Chris. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! She's kidding with the nose hair. I'm just kidding. Funny. She she oh, 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 I love it. I love it. Oh, Is what painful? No, no not at all. That? You feel it's like they're having yeah. a band aid taken Close off. And don't move. You know, like Christina and I were saying, we've had children. So really, on a scale yeah. of one to ten, Wait. how bad do you think this hurts? <laughs> you know. So what are you doing now? You're actually just outlining the area you want to pull yes. the hair, right? Yes. I put the wax, then. That Let's seems see. much quicker than the plucking. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's cleaner because we're tweezing the fine hair, fine blonde hair. You cannot tweeze. Oh, you can't even get it. Natural blonde, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. In her dreams. Close, Close your eyes, please. Oh. You do all this in 10 minutes, Anastasia? Yeah. And this is probably, uh, it's more hygienic, too, to do the uh, yeah, because it's pulling. Way. Well, yes, Vicky, it's your turn. And then now, how many, how... Vicky's not sure Close yet, are you? Eyes, How long does it take if you want to have something tattooed on there? An hour and a half. An hour and a half? You do that yes. too? Yes. And that, that hurts or not hurt? It hurts a little. Very little, but I put a numbing cream, so it's perfectly <laughs> numbing fine. Cream? Numbing cream? Yeah, sometimes I have clients, they fall asleep. <laughs> oh, I, I want to have a tattoo. Cream wears off. Are you How long does it take you to recuperate from plucking? I mean, from tattooing? Five days. Five, Five days, wow. they are dark. You need Why don't you just get the, uh, this done in the intern, you know? They're dark. What's dark? They're really yeah. dark for five days after you get them tattooed. Yeah. Oh, really? So what do I do? How do I keep, how do I keep this up, though? If uh, I wanted to... You come and see me. <laughs> but I can't get in to see you now until till June. I can't come in until June. Still make an appointment. What does it cost to have this done, Anastasia? Um, the first time it's 30 and the follow-up is 25 Woody, can I have $30, please? And is that per, is that per eye? For brow? you, it would be 60 Excuse me? Is it per eyebrow no, or no, no. total? Total, both eyebrows. This is great. Now, are you, am I going to be one, uh, lopsided? Vicky, you want to try it? Yeah. Well, I'll walk around with one perfect brow. Oh, we'll make time. This is great. <laughs> okay, so are going, we don't want to watch Vicky get it done. Oh. <laughs> you don't know our viewers. nose hairs. We don't want to see Vicky. <laughs> Those She's years. worrying about her nose hairs now. Yeah. She's tucking them all in. <laughs> so you don't, do, you don't do plucking, you just do... Oh, yes, I do plucking. What are you spreading on there? What is that? Some sort of... This is beeswax. Beeswax. Wax. wax. Close your eyes. Wax. Yeah. Made out of... Beeswax. Beeswax. So did you like um, tattoo up, you Elle McPherson's because she had the real light, like she plucked like no, I did? No, no, no. We, we just grew her, her eyebrow. Grew them out. Yeah. Close your eyes. Now, how many men do you uh, wax? A lot, believe it or not. Is really? anybody famous that oh, we would I want to talk about? Big names. I don't like, think we want to talk about it. <laughs> do people really care if you mention their eyebrows? Uh, oh, yeah. I yeah. Think so. Really? It's, it's Holly weird, I know. I think he is next on my chair. Oh, you! Oh, Mikey, yes. yeah. You would be the best Michael, You got better bushy, bushy, bushy brows. they look like Jimmy Stewart? Yes. yes. They look like Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, yeah I like his art because they, they bunch up. They, Ew. you know. No, you know no, who no, I want to no. get? Are you all done picking on me? You know whose eyebrows I want to get? Closer. It's Martin Scorsese. Oh, they oh, are wrong. Yeah. That is no. wrong. How about Donald Trump? Donald oh, Trump! Oh, oh, please. Oh, Let's get Donald Trump. This man is yes. so wealthy. Can't he get an eyebrow plug? You know what? I know. Come on. Yeah. I know. What is wrong with that? I think, so I think he <laughs> likes himself There's a different. No, Close your weird. eyes and I'll pluck you. <laughs> No, there. that's funny. All right. Well, why don't we take a break, shall we? Isn't there some point where we have to take a commercial? Either that or go to the tote board. How long have we been here? <laughs> Thank you. You're a master at what you do. And she has a website. Results in a minute. www.anastasia.net. If you want to make an appointment, you can call 310-273-3155. Uh, and now... Yeah, hold on. And now what? When we come back from commercial, we'll show the fit. Let's take a look at the way they look now, and then when we come back, you'll see the finish. Now I can tell right now. Now she's going to draw. She's going to tweeze. I can see the difference, yeah. and I can't I actually, see anything. No, I, I like it. I looks good. Too. We're going to come back with kid inventor Chris Haas. He's got the coolest invention. He's going to make him a million. Watch wow. this. We'll take a break. Be right back.
All right, well, welcome back. We have to say goodbye to Vicki Lawrence. She is out uh, promoting uh, her special, which will be on tomorrow night, TNN, 6 and 10 in the L.A. area. Check your local listings oh, for wow. the TNN Look listing <laughs> near you for Nonsense Ooh. Jamboree. Yes. Nonsense no, 3. No, thanks very much wow. for having me. Wow. Nice well, you can hear Christina. Christina, Christina, still getting plucked. Christina, she's still getting plucked. Wow. Wow. She's still getting plucked. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness right I didn't know. I know. Wow. <laughs> she'll be out shortly. Okay, let me just Pat, do we have a goodbye song for Vicki? I didn't mean to wake you. Do we have a little Billy Joel. Yes. Vicky's in the nonsense show, but right now she's got to go. Say goodbye to Vicky. Come on, Vicky. Say goodbye to Vicky. Vicky Lawrence, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, they're saying goodbye. Woody, do you have somebody you'd like us yeah, to meet? Come here, guys. Come on in here. Bye, Vicky. Bye, Vicky. Bye, you guys. Right. Bye. Now, there's a family here Shelley. Woody wanted us to meet. Come here, Shelly. Come on over here. Shelly and Lynn. Now, will you guys, uh, you have to use the hand mic. Tell them what you're...